right there. Shoulder into ball carrier, and down he goes. Meanwhile, Brady's throw caught here by Metcalf. Seven yards to pick up there. It's a game of seven. Brings up second and three. Looking to throw again on second down. Brady. That completes it again to Metcalf. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down. Executed it to perfection. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0, our score. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report, but business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coach's two-minute drill. Throwing on first down is Brady. A quick target here, complete to Metcalf. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Brady's throw taken in by Moss. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. From midfield, here's Brady. He'll buy some time right. And a first hook up with his all-pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski. A first and 10 here. And you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game in half that might provide a psychological boost. He's got his tailback. That's Marcus Allen. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Only needing two yards on second down. Here's Brady. There goes a deep ball in zone. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they run successful. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. Into the red zone, it's Brady. Throwing left side, he's got Gronk complete. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards, and it'll be second and very short. Throw left side, going to be taken in by Harris. And the Patriots are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. On second and goal, Brady escaping the pressure right. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And the Ravens are going to have it here as they start at their own seven. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. ready to receive it and they've got the lead as well as we resume play in the second half taken in at the three and he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Oh, 
The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They start the second half here with Williams. Only able to get it to his own 20 after breaking through the contact. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. Now that's one they hate. The ball's got to come all the way back. So that's an explosive play, a really explosive play that gets wiped out, and they have to start over after the penalty. On third down, Jackson got a man. It's Darren Waller. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 54 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. Throwing now, Jackson on first down, steps away. He's got his tailback, Ricky Williams, and he's brought down. That is definitely what we call on defense an uh-oh play. And what you mean by that is against Lamar Jackson, when you see him out of the pocket, your first thought is, uh-oh, he's going to try and run it. How do I get to him and get him on the ground? And guess what? That didn't happen, and his receivers took advantage. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to take this down close to the first as he's brought down at the Patriots 34. And to give this time to the tailback. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Patriots. He's at the 40, the 20. Get off the field. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and a Patriot touchdown. This defense, Charles, they needed some type of a spark to help get them back in this game. I think they just got their spark. No doubt about it. And you know that's all they discussed. How can we get ourselves moving again? How can we get our team going? This definitely qualifies. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And the lead is down to a field goal. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 42. Looking to throw. Jackson steps away to his left. He's got his man. It's Andrews. A gain of six there on first. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. From just shy of midfield, Jackson. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. From the gun, it's Jackson. 
And this is going to be hauled in by the tight end, Andrews. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. A big connection on that one. 38 yards. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. On first down, Williams powers through him. Knocks over another. And the Ravens are going to be set up with a first and goal. He couldn't quite reach the chalk, but they'll have it at the one-yard line. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. That would give to the big fullback use check. Power on power, but he's not going to get in. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Right back to use check again. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. And now third and goal coming up, the loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder, and they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. Got a man that's caught for a Ravens touchdown. Darren Waller there to make the grab, and the Ravens will add on to their lead. Tucker with the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. at the line ready to go and you figure after giving up that last touchdown you know they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter this drive becomes very critical and he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds he'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble and it's second down now a play fake Brady He's going to wind up and air it out. And got his man complete. And all the way down inside the 25 before he gets out of bounds. A big play there for New England. Play action. Now it's Brady. Going to throw deep for the end zone. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. They'll probably spend a little extra time dissecting the game film after this when I think the part of their plan was to hit them over the top of the deep ball. They've been unsuccessful all night. Second and 10. On the give, this is Harris. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. Throwing his Brady on third down. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Able to get there and pick it. And the Ravens are going to have the football at their own one-yard line. And that pretty much has been the storyline, Charles. This defense, they seem to be one step ahead from the start of the game until now. And you identified it perfectly, and we can see the frustration that's settling in now. And it's probably been there for a long time. But now it's evident because you can see it in their faces, you can see it in their body language, maybe even a little bit in that play call that ended up maybe close. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. The 40, he's at the 30, 10, and all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. A big play.